again. Welcome back to another video. So, we're going to do a little set of Lazy Girl Method Polygel Nails on my hand today. So, we're going to be using this kit. This is the Too Big Lamb All Glitters Kit. So cute. So, when you open it, you get your little leaflet. And this has just got, um, on one side, it's, got, it's just got all notes and little tips, tricks, kind of warnings and stuff. And then on the other side, it's got all the steps steps one to six on application and all that good stuff so this comes with just six tubes on its own which I love and they are 15 mil tubes they've all got their own little names and colored stickers each tube is foil sealed so I'm just gonna give these a quick swatch so this is airtime guys wait and see these are stunning the camera just you don't get to see what I can see. This one is called Big Smile. It's like a ultra, ultra fine glitter, almost a shimmer. And then this one is called Treasure. It's very similar to the previous one. It's just a paler, more pastel version. And this one, Attraction. I think this was my favorite, you know, guys, even over the pink, just because of the iridescent colors you've got coming off it. It is a beautiful colour. Then we've got a green that is called Flossy. Beautiful. And I thought I saved my best till last, but I can't decide between this pink, Fantasy, and the white. They're both equally beautiful, aren't they? They look so much nicer in real life. They've all got that iridescent kind of colour shift um, that that white one's got, but the camera just doesn't pick them up really really pretty little set of um, polygels aren't they so let's get straight into it these are the tips that i'm using these are just long coffin they're already pre-etched inside because i'm going to be doing lazy girl method um and i've pulled out this color just in pink this came out of i think it was their first full-sized starter kit that they did and i'm gonna i'm not using this today but i wanted to show you this is the too big lamb clear that they do huge huge 60 gram tube of poly gel if you're looking for a good clear poly gel then this is it guys it's not soft and sticky like a lot of clear poly gels can be it's so nice to use and it is a good clear guys everything i use today as well will all be in my amazon storefront i will leave the link to my amazon storefront below if you click on my amazon storefront you will find uh, the two big lamps section and yeah everything I use will be in that section so a quick bit of prep you need to push your cuticles back I've already done a lot of this there wasn't much to do and then you need to scrape away any dead skin that's left on your nail bed or any leftover products in my case prep is so important guys um, you, you'll get lifting if you leave skin and stuff on there so then you need to scratch off and buff off all the shine on your natural nail get them all buffed up and get them all looking nice and chalky and then use some alcohol or a prep and a, a stiff nail brush and give them all a really good clean so that is them all prepped and ready to go so as we're doing lazy girl method today i've put all the tips on my stand upside down and i'm going to be using all these colors from sparkle supplies these are out of the glamour collection except the yellow the yellow is sold separately and i'm just going to use same color glitter as to the poly gel that i'm using so i'm going to start with my pinky i've just put some base coat in that pinky and i'm using the green to start with just a tiny little bit of green into that wet base coat just a tiny bit like that and then that's been cured it for 30 seconds to keep the glitter in place and then this is the ring finger, same again, just a tiny little sprinkle of glitter because I didn't want the glitter to cover up the poly gel in a minute. So just a tiny couple of hexes and a few little small bits. And I'm going to do that on every single nail, just a different colour glitter in each nail. So they've all been cured into place. That thumb and pointer finger look the same because the thumb I've used the white glitter. It's got a blue colour shift so it looks like the blue 
but you will see it at the end. So I'm using a dehydrator and a primer. Again, it's another important step. If you've not got a primer or anything, just use a mixture of 50% alcohol and 50% uh, acetone. So now I'm just doing a quick, nice, thin, even coat, base coat, and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Right, so I'm going to start with the pinky, and again, I'm using the yellow. Um, this should have been green, guys. I had to switch it out in a minute. This should have been green. Right, anyway, I've put a blob of the polygel in the middle of that tip, and I'm just pulling it down and filling filling that tip. Make sure I get it right up the sides, and then I'm just going to fade it off. You don't want any polygel at that cuticle area. You need that cuticle area, like... You need to leave room for the product to stick it to your nail in a minute. So just fading it up from the tip like that. So same with the pink. I'm putting the pink in the middle of the tip. And then just pat it and pull it up to the edge of that tip. Make sure it's right up the sides of that tip. And then again, I'm just going to fade it off and leave that gap up at the cuticle area. Just fade it off really, really thin. Leave a gap at the cuticle area. And again, I'm going to do that on all the nails, different colour on each nails to match the glitter. They're all getting a full 60 seconds cure as well. Can you see I've swapped that pinky out <laughs> for the green? So now to attach these to your nails, I'm using the Just In Pink. And you want to keep it quite thin at your cuticle area. And again, make sure you get that poly gel right up the side. You don't want to see any transparent bits at the sides because you'll see them and they just look ugly and I'm just gonna fade it off down that nail you don't need to fit fill the tip because you've filled it at the bottom with the colored poly gel so place it on your nail quite gently but firmly I like to press it and then I like to slide it as close to my cuticle as I can get it without touching the skin make sure it's nice and straight press it down firmly so it's fully attached and then that's going to get a full 60 seconds cure now super quick super easy so i think i'll just show you doing one more guys they're all the same so again pat that poly gel nice not too thin but quite thin at your cuticle area you don't want it too bulky up there make sure you get it right up the sides of the tips so there's no transparent bits and, and again, just fade it off down that nail. Fade it, fade it, fade it. And then again, we're going to attach that to the nail. So press it on firmly, but not too hard that it all squidges out. And then I like to just push it, slide it into my cuticle like that. And if you do get any poly gel that leaks out, use a bit of alcohol on your brush and just wipe it away before it goes in the lamp. Um, yeah make sure it's straight and if you're happy with it stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and there we go that's them all done super quick easy way of getting nails isn't it and then there's no shaping to do because the tip does all that for you i just like to go around the sides and around the cuticle with my file just to blend in the edge of the tip because you can kind of get a little lip around the, the edge of the tip so just blend the edge of the tip in at the cuticle and the sides and then buff off all that shiny surface and then you're ready to decorate them or you could just top coat them the way they are super easy i love it brilliant to use with your non-dominant hand as well right so that's them all filed and all buffed i am quickly just giving them a, a top coat, a glossy top coat of Too Big Lambs top coat because I did originally want to put some swirly lines on them and sprinkle them with glitter but I just feel like I've done a lot of sets with swirly lines sprinkled with glitter lately so I did end up changing my mind so for this design that I'm about to do you don't need to do this part, this, um, this glossy top coat you can just go straight in with the nail art um, I'm doing this because I changed my mind last minute <laughs> so they've had a glossy top coat I've pulled out some of my eye Malie colours just to match um, the colours of the nails so this is eye Malie's set number 12 it's available on Amazon um, that's in, that'll all be in my Amazon storefront as well so I'm just going to put a little blob of each colour that I'm going to need on my palette 
and guys super easy I'm just gonna do little flicky flicks like this literally just just flicky flicks like that that is it I'm gonna do the same on each nail using obviously the pink the yellow the blue and on the thumb I'm gonna do the white that is it that is all I'm gonna do on on this set and I was gonna sprinkle them in glitter but no I decided to leave them just as they are super easy beginner set with no no special you don't need no special um, experience for fancy nail art and stuff yeah just simple flicky flicks like that <laughs> And then they've all been cured. I like them. I think they actually turned out really smart. Something different. So now I'm going in with another top coat. Just to seal that gel polish in. Because it's got a tacky layer hasn't it. And then we're going to get some bling added to these. And that will be them finished. So for the bling I've pulled out pink, blue, green, yellow. And I'm going to use one of these for the thumb. Because I didn't have a white for my thumb. And a mixture of transparent so I will just let you watch for a sec guys and I'll see you at the end do you know I just love how quick and easy this method is especially when you've got to do your right hand and you're using your non-dominant hand it just doesn't get any easier does it i really really like how they turned out i really like them little flicky flicks just so simple and easy aren't they uh and the glitter poly gel is stunning i love it anyway guys that is it for today all links will be below my amazon storefront everything will be in there um i've got discount codes for the to be glam website and the I'm a Lee website you can't use the discount codes on Amazon they're only available for the website but yeah website links and my Amazon storefront will all be below please remember to give the video a quick thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hopefully I'll see you in my next one take care bye